I recently came across an old Simmons uh, MIDI drum set, and when I uh, plugged it in to my computer, uh, it wasn't mapped properly. So some of the thing, like the crash cymbal was actually playing a hi-hat, and uh, the floor tom was playing a snare. So I wanted to just remap it, and this is how I did it. So I'm just going to create a new drummer track um, in Logic Pro, and let's move to the bottom here. So this is just a, your basic drummer track here. Um, nothing special about it, and it's the default. It's using the uh, drum kit, uh, you know, basically the default. So I'm using Songwriter, uh, Pop Songwriter. I'm going to close this for you. Um, and we're just going to close that. We don't need any of that, but we do need this. Uh, by pressing I, you can get this window up. So you see we've selected the drum kit over here, and that's the default drummer uh, instrument. What we're going to do is click on MIDI FX. And we're going to go to um, Scripter. And uh, rather than factory default, we're going to do Drum Kit Designer Remapper. Um, now what I'm going to do is play my MIDI drum here. So right now I'm playing the snare. And you see how up at the very top there in this area it says, right now it says no in, but when I play it, it's going to change. It's going to say D1. Now D1 is my snare. Uh, and so I want to make a note of that. I'll write that on a piece of paper. Then I'm going to hit my hi-hat here, and it says G-sharp 0. My crash says A0, Tom, E1, other Tom, F1, floor Tom, D-sharp 1, and then uh, crash is A2. So you get that. Um, so what we're going to do here is now change these. So our kick was, let's do our kick again. Oh, we didn't do our kick. Here's our kick. It's A-sharp, negative 1. Um, and so what the first thing I'm going to do is find A sharp negative one here, uh, and that is right here. And so now when I play my kick, I should get the proper thing. Um, now my drum set uh, has basically, you want to make sure not to duplicate these because that'll throw you for a loop. But um, the next thing we'll do is the snare. And if you remember, my snare was D1. So that's already mapped properly, actually. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, next, we're going to do, let's do my um, high tom there, which you remember was E1. Now, currently, this is E1, so I'm going to just move that down to C minus 2 and um, just to kind of take it off the, you know, every, every time I see a, that's kind of my verbiage, so when I see C negative 2, I know that I'm not using that. But again, my, uh, what did I say, my, uh, uh, Oh, my snare. Uh, snare is D1. We have that. Let's do uh, hi hat here. And you have G sharp 0 for the hi hat. So we got to turn this one off. Uh, and let's find the hi hat here. Let's do hi hat shank. G sharp 0 was the thing. And now I'm going to hit my hi hat. There it is. Now let's do the crash here. This is A0. Um, so let's find the crash down here, and you can see it's mapped to that right now, so I'm going to turn that off. Um, we'll do crash left, and that should be A0. Let's try it. There it is. Let's do the high tom. High tom is E1. Uh, so let's do this E1. Now I have my high tom again. Now let's do my mid tom F1. Uh, so currently that's mapped incorrectly, so I'm just going to set this back here for now. Um, so we want my mid tom to be uh, F1. And then my, so there's my mid tom. And then my, my floor tom, currently a clap, <laughs> but it's D sharp 1, so we're going to change D sharp 1 to the low tom here. Find that. Still, down here. Ah, still there. What's going on with that? Let's troubleshoot that. So it says D sharp one, and I think I know what's going on with that. Um, I had previously mapped it using Moto drums, and I think that's the issue there. We won't troubleshoot that at this point. Um, but then finally, my other my ride here. This is A two. Let's make sure uh, the ride. We'll do the ride bell, we'll make that A2. Right about there. There you go. 
Uh, so that's how you map drums in Logic.